Hey, welcome to another Brunomics one-off series. I'm Jerry. I'm Paula. We're gonna drink a motherfucking beer. Motherfucking beer. This time, a rosé. I-P-A. Rosé. I-P-A. Rosé. I-P-A. Ro God, that is so chantable. <laughs> so chantable. Bridgeport Brewing, straight out of Portland. This is a part of their Hot Hero series, which means things. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yeah, get a look up in that label. It's very pink. It's very rosé. How do you feel about this one, Paula? I'm not sure. Not sure either. I'm not sure. Not sure. We're going to see how it goes, though. There's something on the bottom of the cap. Bottom of the cap. Bottom of the cap. Bottom of the cap on that rose IPA. It says, What took you so long? Dude. Oh, wow. This looks like a rose. Look at this color. Put your soda pop. Huh. Man. Oh, I can smell it. It smells very floral. Right off the gate. Dang, it's good size on this guy. Speed read the back of it. What'd she say? Rose IPA starts with pale and honey malt to develop the subtly sweet undertone of this fun session beer. We then hop with hibiscus for a unique floral citrus note punctuated by a gorgeous red hue. After a solid dose of mosaic hops, this IPA inspired by our hometown. Rose City, because that makes sense, finishes with dry, crisp, and fruity notes, reminiscent of a rosé wine. I totally, totally smell that. Oh, but it still smells like a beer. It does. Super carbonated. Yes. I like how some bubbles are going up and some are just sitting. This is a cool looking, okay, now i got to bring this over. Oh, look at that. What a neat looking beer, huh? Say hi, beer. Hi, beer. Jesus, I drank way too much of All right, Paula. Let's cheers it. Let's try it. I don't know if that's for me. Me either. <laughs> Interesting. Not a. It's it, it's it's kind of like drinking a rose petal. I guess rose is about as appropriate as it gets. I was excited. It's colorful. It's bubbleful. It is dry as shit. Maybe not as shit. I guess it depends on how old that shit is. Some old shit. Oh, sorry, <laughs> terrible reference. It's not that bad. It's not. No, no. It's but. really not. Interesting, though. It's like, it's almost like old, old soda. It's like an old, like, cherry shasta. Like, it, it, I definitely get a, a spritzer, a uh, LaCroix, if you will. Let's talk about other stuff real quick. 5% alcohol, percent by volume. I don't know if we have an IBU. 986 check-ins on untapped with a 3.41 rating. Let's talk about this a little bit more, Paul. This is a session beer. Slow sipper, I guess I could see that. If you like this flavor, this sort of thing, if you're into the LaCroix. LaCroix. Uh, or a soda water. Or you kind of have weird taste buds. I think you'd be into this. <coughs> wow, it is so bubbly. I didn't expect that. Excuse me. It coats the mouth really weirdly. Yeah. And I say like old soda when, I, when it feels like that, when it tastes like that. Oh, I'm not sure what the message is. I like the artwork, it sticks out. If, I feel like they're definitely trying to go for a beer dedicated towards ladies. Oh yeah. Perhaps, maybe that's sexist. I doubt it though, No, but that's what it looks like. Um, I'm curious to see any ladies that have had this beer, what they think. 
Because the ones that I know have the same taste in beer as men and most people. Because uh, taste as a whole tend to... I don't think taste is gender exclusive. No. No, by no means. That's weird. So I think it's weird that people dedicate food and drinks towards one gender or another. Uh, but this may be a hit and miss. What you doing, bro? I'm Googling stuff. He's Googling stuff. Something right. I actually Googled beforehand. Oh. And then neat. I just I couldn't Google myself anymore. Uh, <laughs> do you do that? I don't Google myself. I'm always afraid of what I'll find out. What's your definition of Google? When you put your name in Google search engine? What's your definition, bro? Back <laughs> Rosé MBS cider. Oh. Pink rosé wine exploded in 2017. Mm, exploded! With a 53% growth in sales, studies also show 20% growth percent of wine drinkers prefer blah blah blah. Summer beer. Okay. Cool. Ladies. Ladies. Let's get a transition to this beer. That being so, said. Not being science. sexist. It is science. It's marketing. But seriously, ladies, let us know what you think of this. It's summer. You drinking this? You not drinking it? How do you feel about beer being marketed specifically towards ladies? I like it because part of me likes it, I guess, because beer is known as like a man's drink. Oh, I guess so, huh? Kind of. When I guess it, it's cool when ladies drink beer, so let's have one dedicated towards them. But when it does it have to be so girly? I, it's a, it's a beer for everybody. Can it just be beer? It's a beer for everybody. Yeah. I love. I personally love wine. I actually had a couple bottles a couple days ago. A couple bottles a couple days ago. <laughs> a rap lyric. That was a good rap lyric. <laughs> um, rate the beer, Paul. Oi. Two. Oi. <laughs> Two five. I don't know. I don't think I'd get it again. I want it too sweet for me. Sticks on the mouse. Maybe maybe bring a bomber to at a party. Maybe sure. like, you know, there were, you know, guys try this. Maybe pass around. Yeah, I don't think it was expensive. Pretty sure it was like a six dollar, seven dollar bomber. I can't remember. Or when you're in the mood for soda, but you want alcohol as well, but you don't want hard A. Yeah. Guess if you're one of those weirdos that like LaCroix, you'd probably like this. I've never had LaCroix. LaCroix? LaCroix. Do you like soda water? Sparkling water? LaCroix. LaCroix? No. Ginger ale? I yes. don't know if it's like ginger ale, though. Okay. I don't like ginger ale either. Huh. I love ginger ale. So maybe I'm the real weirdo. <laughs> well, let us know what you think about the beer, though. Uh, don't let our opinion swayed you, by all means get back to us about it. And let our opinion sway Let us know if we're, if we're fucking wrong, if you think we're fucking wrong. We probably are. I probably am. Probably not. That actually doesn't make any sense at all. Probably spot on. Probably a little drunk. <laughs> Definitely. Also, we have other YouTube videos. Check those out here. And check out our movie reviews here. Also, listen to our podcast. Click here to subscribe. I'm Jerry. I'm Paula. Cheers, Internet.